inspectors general for this and members of the management team. The AIGs, we are commissioners of police, we are present. The commanders, PMF squadrons, CTU and SPU units. Our dear friends, gentlemen of the press, good afternoon. Like the PRO was trying to explain, I had an earlier schedule program that I thought and believed this it will get beyond one o'clock, at most one thirty, two o'clock maximum. Unfortunately, as you are aware, some of the activities leading into the elections, particularly if they have to do with preparations, perhaps are the last one that was a meeting of stakeholders in the elections. And I and the chairman, INEC, were to deliver briefs to all the stakeholders. And it ended up with an interactive session that we couldn't uh, stop at the time we wanted to. So, to our dear guests, apologies indeed. The purpose of this meeting, mainly, is to remind you of the importance of the responsibilities attached to your offices and also draw your attention to the expectations of stakeholders with regards to the conduct of the 2015 general elections. For us, as a leading agency in the provision of security in the conduct of the elections, which we will be doing in collaboration with other law enforcement and security agencies. We know how valuable you are. We know your importance. You are commanding our immediate intervention units. And you ought to know that when there are apprehensions, particularly in the period after the results are declared, a lot will be expected from you in containing any unforeseen circumstances that may arise. But most importantly, you have been part of all efforts to prevent any violence in the elections. You have been part of all the activities leading into the date of the elections which are approaching. As you are all aware, on the 28th, there will be conduct of elections into the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and elections into the National Assembly, both for the Senate and for the House of Representatives. You have been involved in all activities leading to these days. And like I said, 28th and on the 11th, there will also be elections into the office of the governors, some of the governors, almost all, with the exception of quite a few. And then elections into the state houses of assembly. As you have done in the activities leading to these days, you are expected to even perform better on the election days. Some of the challenges will need you most on the election days include the escort of the materials and INEC officials a day to the election into the wreck that is designated places where the INEC officials and the materials will be kept before they are moved the following morning to the various polling centers. And you also serve 
like I said earlier on, as intervention forces when the need will arise, particularly on that date, any attempt to snatch or where snatching of card readers or boxes take place, you will be expected to support the security provided in those polling units in making sure that those responsible do not escape with them. And other issues that may arise on the election day. But in particular, supporting the security arrangements at the polling units and the collation centers will be expected to play a lot of roles. After the conduct of the elections, we will be there to provide the necessary backup to the conventional police that will be protecting the results as well as providing security to those who have exercised their rights by protecting their homes, by protecting them in their offices, by protecting them in their socio-economic activities. All necessary measures are being taken to prevent violence. All stakeholders are brought in to make sure that we don't have violence resulting from the declaration of the results, including urging the politicians to go the normal process in challenging the results rather than going the extrajudicial way. For you, I repeat, you provide the standby and you provide the striking force where necessary. But let me remind you that just as we have issued the Human Rights Practice Manual, you are expected to be guided by the provisions of the law in the enforcement of all laws. And just like we have also given you and your men the guidelines for conduct of police officers in the election duties, we are also expected to, where necessary, make reference. This is a pocket size book where you need a quick guide, you make reference to those books so that you don't exceed in the exercise of their powers. I want to assure you that at our own level, at the management level, we are doing everything possible to make sure that you have the requirements on how to discharge these responsibilities. This is the purpose of the meeting today. Thank you. I want to thank you, Mr. Chairman. IGP, I would consult you to further clarify the issue of whether voters have got to stay back after casting their ballots or otherwise. Ever since you made the pronouncement that uh, voters should leave the polling booths after voting, uh, a controversy has been generated. The two leading political parties have both, or have come out to say, voters stay back and make sure you monitor how the polling process will go on. Let me first and foremost correct the impression you are giving. The police did not ban anyone from staying after casting his votes. Rather, what I have been saying, and I still repeat, and we will maintain this time, we advise voters, when you cast your vote, you are advised to go home. The provisions in section 129 is full of listed activities 
that constitute crime, the commission of crime, up to nine of them. And that is why it is listed therein. And if I may quote, section 1291I states that no person shall on the date on which an election is held do any of the following acts or things in a, poll in a polling unit or within a distance of 300 meters of a polling unit. A, canvas for votes, and if I may go into I, loiter without lawful excuse after voting or after being refused to vote. This is what the law says. And there's no reason why those of us who are responsible for law enforcement or protection of life and property to shy away from advising members of the public on how to avoid the commission of crime. That is what we do. We are advising members of the public when you cast your vote, you advise that you go home. There are representatives of the parties, party agents that are there to protect, if you want to call it that way. But if you decide to stay, like we have said before, then make sure that you behave yourself in such a manner that you will not be found wanting. The activities listed are then up to nine. So I hope that takes care of the two issues. Thank you.